In this demo, we'll show how defragmentation can be done inside SQL Server. For this demo, I'm going to use the MyAdventureBox database and we are going to create an empty table. The table has been created. Next, we will create three indexes on top of this particular table. One clustered and two non-clustered indexes on this table. The indexes are created. The next is to create some rows into this particular table and we are going to load close to about 600,000 rows in this particular table. This insert takes a while and once it completes we will see there are a lot of rows that have got inserted in this particular table. Later we turn to this interesting DMV of DB index physical stats. The index physical stats has got a lot of information from an not only from an usage, but also from the fact of fragmentation as part of SQL Server. I'm joining it with the sys.indexes table to get an idea of what are the tables and what are the indexes that are being used. In this particular case, if you have thousands and thousands of tables and indexes, this can be an interesting read. In our database, we have only one table with three different indexes. The average fragmentation right out here shows the sales order details ID has got just 0.4 percentage of fragmentation. The order quantity and product ID gives you different values of 10% and 75% of fragmentation. Based on our theory, it is very simple to go ahead and create a reorganizing a index based on our understanding from theory you would go ahead and reorganize any of the indexes if they are less than 20 30 percent fragmented in case of indexes which are heavily fragmented to a degree of 75 percent in this particular case for product id you would rebuild and in cases you might want to sometimes go ahead and create and rebuild all the indexes on the table and this can be achieved by the alter index command with the rebuild option. Now consider this fact that this was just for a single table that we had to take three different approaches. If you have a database with thousands of tables and thousands of indexes then this can be a Herculean task to go ahead and reorganize and rebuild each of these indexes. On the internet, you do have tons of such scripts which will help you. Here is one other script that we would recommend which is from this gentleman called Ola. You can see the index optimized script that has been generated by this website can be used from an index reorganization. You have so much of flexibility from an index, fragmentation, online, offline, MacDope, update statistics, partition, so on and so forth. This is a pretty comprehensive list of options that you can actually use to go ahead and rebuild, reorganize based on certain criteria. Feel free to go ahead and use the script and you would see there is a lot of index organizing is fundamentally a maintenance job. Hence, monitor your SQL Server and appropriately go ahead and tune on the index maintenance. There is no one size fits all theory over here. You might sometimes want to run certain things on a daily basis after a bulk upload for example. Or you might take another call on a weekly basis in the maintenance window. There are cases wherein you might have to go ahead and rebuild or reorganize online. All these options are very much available and from a case-to-case -case basis based on how the application goes about using SQL Server and the fragmentation levels are, you would take any of these options.